Kathleen and this is Sherry D. I'm sure you all know Sherry. Um, I am going to be taking her through a full length bar class today. Um, we're going to be doing it really slow for beginners. We'll be showing you some modifications and stopping to take rests in between each body part just to help you um, go along. I don't want anyone to feel like you can't finish a class. It's very difficult to do it 100% when you're first learning because it, it's really um, not hard on the body, but it works your muscles so well that you get fatigued pretty easily. I'm gonna be holding my phone so I can start and stop the music. And um, so what we're gonna do is break everything up. And if that's the only body part you want to do one day, you can just do that. But we'll show you the, a full class. It'll take about an hour. So let's get started with warming up. Okay, so we can face here, and we're just bringing our knees up, swinging your arms, point your toes, and keep your abs engaged, and hips tucked in, okay? So from here, we're just going to push both hands out, and press, press. <clears throat> if that means it's too loud, I think I'm going to grab it. Okay, and push, and push for four, three, two, one. Now up in the air, press. If you um, want to get more of a stretch in your leg, you can bring it out farther. If you can only bring it up this way, that's fine. Press, press for five, four, three, two, and one. You can shake it out. You're going to stand hip width. Here, hip width apart. I'm going to bend your knees slightly. As a beginner, you can keep your heels on the ground for a moment. You have front and the left side of me, so I like this. You like the side. Okay, perfect. I'll show you front. You can see Sherry's side. Sherry's side. So from here, you can bring your arms straight out ahead of you. Also, hands are shoulder width apart. Okay? And just lift tiny movements a couple inches at a time. I want you to bring your shoulders back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and lift, lift, lift. If you want to make it a little more advanced to work your core too for balance, come up onto your toes and lift, lift, lift. Four, three, two, and one. Bring you out this way. You're just opening up your chest and shoulders here and press, press. Press, keep your hands and your elbows at shoulder level. And press, press. Five, four, three, two, hold it on one. Now bring your arms all the way out and lift them up. Lift, lift. They are going to be right on your sides. There you go. And you're doing small movements. With bar, every little small movement brings big results because you're isolating the muscles that you're working on. And four, three, two, hold here. Now we're gonna do circles backwards, just tiny little circles. Press again, don't forget to touch your hips under. Engage your abs on your toes if you can. And you're just doing a little circle. If you have shoulder problems and you can't bring back this far, feel free to come up a little bit forward. There you go, for three, two, and one, now let's go forward, forward, forward. Beautiful form. You've got great balance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I walk on my husband almost every day. You what? I walk on my husband almost Oh! Day. For three, two, and one. Bring your arms down, roll them a little bit. We're warming up our shoulders here. Now, if you'd like to, if you have a couple small weights, I've got two pounds here. Sherry has three pounds there. You want to switch? Match my outfit, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, no, we got a match. Look, oh, you're purple. You're oh, green. Oh, my gosh. Okay. The match. I'm going to get stud. Right here. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is from that same position, you're going to lean forward, bring your arms right back behind you. There you go. Perfect. Keep your hips tucked under, and you're just going to keep your pinkies towards the ceiling, and you're going to lift. 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 Sherry, that's perfect. Keeping your shoulder blades together, that's wonderful. So right now we're working on our triceps. 
You're isolating these little moves just to work on your triceps. And lift, lift, you can bend forward a little bit more. For a three, two, hold it on, one. Now palms up to the ceiling and just do the same thing. Just a tiny little rotation in your arms. And lift, lift, if you can. Get up on your toes. This one's really hard for me to keep my balance. Ooh. Don't forget to tuck your hips under, engage your core, and lift. For four, three, two, hold it up on one. Now what we're going to do here is we're just going to push, bend and push, bend and press, and press. And three pound weights, for people like me, probably share two, I'm guessing, are really hard. So um, I will admit I'm a big whip on my upper body. So if you want at any point, you can put your weights down and just keep, keep doing the movements because you don't need the weights. Four, three, two, hold on on one, lift it on up, squeeze it, and lift and squeeze. Lift and squeeze. Let me take these real quick. Thank you. Keep your arms where you are. Woo! So I'm going to lift up it and squeeze. Lift and squeeze. Beautiful. Lift and squeeze. I'll show you from the back. And squeeze. Lift and squeeze. Lift and squeeze. For four. Three. Try to bend over a little bit more. Yes. And hold on, mine. Let's just hold it, hold it. For five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax that arm. Shake it out. Now we're going to do our biceps. Biceps are a little bit easier with a three pound weight, or you can do it without. I'm going to do it with two. And we'll stretch in just a minute, or if you want to stop right now, you can stretch because you don't want to hurt, okay? <sighs> Deep breath, Sherry. There we go. Okay, feet go. You can do feet together or just hip width apart. Again, I'm going to get on my toes, bend my knees, bring your elbows into your side, and do tiny lifts. And lift. Lift and lift. And it's not about the squeeze in your hand. Relax your hand and squeeze your bicep. Lift. We'll do about four or five different movements again on the bicep. And lift for four, three, two, hold it on one, bring your arm out with a slight bend and lift. Lift, lift, lift. And you're still, even though you're not bringing your arms in, you still have a flexed bicep when you're doing this. And lift, shoulders are back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lift. So this is what it looks like from the front. And lift for five, four, three. We're going to hold it on one and one. Now we're just going to push it out and press, press, press. Perfect. If you want to come up on your toes, feel free. Again, it's really hard for me to keep my balance these days. And press, press. Now, while you're pressing, I want you, every move, to come out a little bit more until you get to 45 degrees, and just press out 45. Press, press, press. For five, four, three, two, hold it on one, bring it out a little bit more. Now, squeeze, and squeeze, squeeze. So you're squeezing your elbows, you bring your back. Perfect, and press. Press. Don't forget to keep your bicep engaged. And press. 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 And press. For five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to lean over. You're going to shake out your shoulders, roll them. And we're going to do push ups, triceps, and then we'll do some stretching. Are you up for that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So our modification for push-ups today is we are going to do them on the bar. If you don't have a bar at home, you can use a counter, something stable, or you can do them on the floor. So I will show you a little bit on the bar, and then I'll come on the floor and show you, because I know not everyone 
may have a stable surface to do this on. How can I body posture first? Okay. Just to show you. Yes. Here's incorrect way. Right. That's the wrong way. So it's like we're doing a plank, bringing our tummy in. Everything is tight. Buns are being squeezed. Legs are being squeezed. Arms are a little bit out past shoulder width for now. Okay. I'm just going to go down and press. Down and press. We're going to do this several times. With the bar, for me, gives me a bigger stretch in my chest because I can't go that far down on the ground. So for me, this is a better push-up for my muscles. Okay, that's okay. We're just going to go slower. I'm also going to... I'm pausing my music. So while she's doing these, I'm going to show you some floor exercises. So we're going to come right back down here. Now, Sherry, come all the way back. And when you get really tired, you're just going to stretch. At this point, you can sway your back because you're just stretching. You're going to feel the stretch in the back of your legs, in your back. And you're going to feel it right over here. Now, when you're ready, you're going to come back up, and you're going to do some more push-ups. I'm going to do mine on the ground and hope that you can see me. You want to make sure that when you do a push-up, you have your wrist directly under your shoulders and that your um, front two fingers are facing forward and you're pushing down with all your fingers. Now you don't want to sway, you want to lift up into a higher plank so you can avoid the strain on your back. Or you could do what we call girl push-ups and get on the tops of your knees, right where your quad meets your knee. You don't want to be on the bony part. And I'm going to do girl ones so I can show you how to do that. So we're just going to go down and up, down and up, down, press, down and press. When you can't do any more, try to do one more past that. And then when you're too tired, you're going to come back into child's pose and that will stretch out your arms too. All right. And then from there, if you're on the ground, we would do tricep dips. But I'm also going to show you the triceps on the bar. So on the bar, when you're doing the push-up, your arms are out here. When you're doing triceps, your arms are here. So when you come in, your elbows go right against your sides, and then you get a tricep workout with a push-up. So I'll show you here. Arms are close together. So when you come in, you might want to get a little closer to the bar. When you come in, you're just going to squeeze your sides with the inner part of your arm, okay? So Sherry's gonna do that, and I'm gonna show you some dips on the ground. When I do my dips, I like it when my thumbs are facing forward. Feet are hip width apart. You're gonna lift your bottom off the ground, and you're gonna keep your bottom up as high as possible. Your wrists are under your shoulders, and you're just gonna go down and up, down and up. If you have wrist problems, you can roll your mat over here. Or if you have a big set of weights, bigger than this, at least five or eight pounds, you can hold onto those. But mine are too small to do that. Do that again, please, I want to check too. Here, okay. So for me, I like it when my fingers are on the outside, like this, and my thumb is facing forward. So you could do that, and then you make sure your elbow goes all the way back. You could also do it when all of your fingers are facing forward, but to me that one's just harder. Probably because I'm not it very is, strong. It's much easier this way. Well, that's not, no. that's not tricep. That's not tricep right no, here. But engage it. You can bring them out and have just your thumb. Oh, I see. Yes. There you go. And then you're still doing your tricep. Oh. See, I can get my this. tricep better there. Oh, I can get it better. Yeah. There. I'm too weak to do it Ooh. this way. Yes. So you're gonna dip. And dip. And again, I would normally do this to music. And the core is engaged. And press. Yes, your core is engaged the whole time. If you really want to go for it, you could lift up a leg. You could switch it out. Or if you're too tired but you still want to get a little movement, put your butt on the ground. And then you still push yourself up as much as you can using your arms. And let's go. Woo! Go, Sherry. Okay. So we're going to pretend like we did a full song of push
stretch and triceps. And now we are going to stretch our arms. Yay! And That's hard. Yep. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna face you. I'm sure you can face the mirror. We're just gonna start by opening up our arms, bringing your right hand out in front, fingers facing down. Grab the fingers and just stretch the arms. Perfect. If you can grab your thumb too, that's even better. Now fingers facing the ceiling. Same thing. Go ahead and pull. Now bring your palm towards your body. This is my favorite one, and I think it's because my wrist always hurt. But when you push it in that way, it just Okay. Now, left hand, bring your right hand and get all your fingers, including your thumb if you can. Stretch that out. Facing the ceiling. Don't forget to take deep breaths in and out. Now bring your palm towards your body and push. There you go. Now again, you're going to open up your chest. Stretch that out. Put your right arm up. Bring those fingers behind your neck. Grab your elbow with your other hand. Yes. And what you're going to do is you're going to lean away. So you are stretching the side that you're holding your elbow. Right there. Okay. So I'm going to go this way because I'm facing you. And now we're going to switch arms. Bring your left fingers behind your head. Grab your left elbow and pull towards the right. And just lean. Okay, and from there, you're going to bring your hands up and back around behind your back, clasp your fingers, bring your arms up, and lean forward for an extra stretch. Come on up, and we're going to get up onto the bar, and we're going to stretch and warm up our lower body too. Actually, it's kind of a whole body stretch. If you don't have a bar, Again, you can use a table. You could use a chair. I wouldn't use for this uh, the top of the chair. Maybe you would have my sofa. That's the, the sofa is really weighted. Yes, so that's perfect. Top of it. Yes. Okay. So you can take a breath in, and then you can bring up your right leg, right knee to your chest, put your foot up on the bar. So your hip is over your standing leg ankle. And you're losing your balance like me. Okay. So breath in. And you're going to blow it all the way out, grabbing the bar. If you can't reach the bar, or if it hurts too much, grab the back of your calf. Or if you have, which I don't know where mine are, but if you have a, a strap, you can put the strap over the bar and you can pull this way. Okay? So the bottom foot. It should be pointed forward. Yes, your bottom toes definitely need to be facing forward. I'm going to turn that off so we can explain. Okay. And if at all possible, straighten this leg to get more of a stretch right here. Okay. When I first began, I kept a soft knee up here because if we're not that um, flexible, we might not be able to straight, stretch, stretch your knee, straighten it yet. But as, so if you can even just do this much, just do that much and then reach over. That's and then really eventually. But another variation is keep your legs straight so you're stretching the right muscles, but just don't so go over as far. Yes. That way you're still working on the muscles you're trying to stretch. Right. You I just, like you don't want to hurt yourself. Right. And if it hurts, you need to back off a little bit. Okay? So from here, we're going to come back up, and we're going to twist our body over the side that is up. So our right leg is up. We're going to twist to the right. Okay? For me, I like to push the back of my hand to that leg and stretch. Yes. And you're just going to open up as far as you can comfortably. So you're going to take a big breath here. Come back up and down one more time. And then you're going to bend your standing leg and you're going to get a deeper stretch in your straight leg. Try to keep it straight. Just don't yeah. go over very far. There you go. Yes. Do you feel that more right here when you bend your leg? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So go ahead and stand it back up and get up onto that toe. On your standing foot toe. 
Bring your heel off the ground. And now you could bend this leg in. There you go. And then you can open that knee out and get an extra stretch in the inner want to side. This glute or you definitely want to engage this leg and glute if possible. Because if not, really want you really want Yes. So engage this because if this is too relaxed, you're not going to be supporting your hip flexor either. Mm -hmm. Okay. So bring your knee back straight up towards the ceiling. Push it back out. Bring this heel back down. Come back up. And now we're going to open up our bodies just like that. You're going to bring your bar leg out in front of you slightly and you're going to reach out to the middle of the room and you're going to come back in and you're going to fold over as much as you can but this arm is going to be down here so your chest is open just like that perfect <clears throat> from here you're going to reach around keeping this leg still in front of you slightly and you're going to reach around to the couch the bar whatever you have and try to come onto the outside of that leg so you get a bigger stretch. Okay, now slide that leg back over in front of you. Hopping is okay to get back into position. You want your ankle under your hip. So bring your foot up a little bit more. There you go. Yes. Okay. Because you don't want this too far up that way. Okay. You're going to come back up this way. And right now we're just going to bring that leg down because I'm going to take it easy on that stretching for you. We're going to start all over with the other side, okay? So you're going to inhale your arms up, bring your left knee up, and now is when you're going to feel that right cheek engage because you are starting to balance, engaging your core at the same time. Straighten that leg out onto your bar, your couch, or whatever you have that's a stable surface. Take a deep breath in and blow it out, reaching over as far as you can. Some may be only able to go this far. That's okay. Whenever you feel it stretching, you can just kind of lean on over it. Take a couple of big breaths. Okay. If you want to massage your legs while you're doing that, feel free. It does help open it up. Uh-huh. It does. Yep. Sometimes I find that by touching my muscles that are supposed to be working, if they're not, I can help that brain connection just by touching it. Okay. So we're going to come back up. And then we're gonna twist our body to the left. I like to push for a deeper stretch. I push on the outside of that bar leg. I'm gonna reach to, toward the rim, the other part of the rim. Coming back in, leaning over one more time. Making sure that your standing foot is under your butt, okay? And from here, I'm just gonna bend your standing foot again. That'll give you a deeper stretch. Again, don't bend the leg, just don't bend over very far because you want to stretch the right muscles. Okay, now go ahead and straighten that leg, your standing leg. And now get up onto your toes. There you go. And this leg will be straight to you, so you're up on your toes. Okay. Actually, are we still bent over? I think we were. I don't know. I've lost track. That's okay. Okay, we're here now. We are here now. So now we're going to stand back up and slide our bar leg and then the toes on the standing leg are going to be out kind of diagonal towards the middle of the room. I'm going to reach out to the middle of the room and come all the way over and stretch as far as you can. If you're more comfortable stretching this way, you can. I just feel like I get a better stretch when my arm is inside just like Sherry's is. Okay, so from here we're going to just bend on over and grab the bar or the back of the couch. That's perfect. Oh yeah, that one. Yep, take a couple of deep breaths there. And while you're still holding here, if you can, slide that leg right on the front of you. So, and if you're standing foot, all 10 toes are facing the wall again, okay? All right. Now you're gonna get up on your toes and you're gonna bend your bar leg. You get a bigger stretch through your hip flexor. Don't forget to engage the glute back there. Now if you can, you wanna open your knee out. So what I'm doing is I'm opening out this way and leaning in more and getting a stretch. Yep. Now coming on back, bringing your heel back down to the bar or to the floor. And you're going to bring your foot back down. 
Bend your knees and just roll up so it feels good and you're not hurting yourself. Now from here, we're gonna take some water. Always take a water break whenever you need to. <clears throat> I'm gonna put the music back on and we're gonna work our legs. Now this, for me, and I think for Sherry too, is the hardest part. Um, because both of our quads just kind of like get on fire when we're doing this. So I will be doing it as much as I can on my toes because that's how you get the best work. At any point, if you want to get back down to your heels, that's okay because you're still doing something. All right, so I'm gonna put some music on for our legs. And we're going to start I'm going to put Sherry at the bar, um, or on the back of your couch. What you're going to do is your feet are going to be hip width apart. Come up on your toes, and down. We're just going to warm up our calves, okay? And down. We're going to do it slow at first, and down. Now when you bring your heels down to the ground, try not to put all the weight back there. You're still going to be engaging the calves. <clears throat> now we could go double time, okay? So up, down, up, down. Engage the core. Tuck your hips under and press and press. Press. Five, four, three, two. Hold it up on one. Now this is where it's going to get tricky. Okay, she's going to hold on to the bar with both. And you're going to pretend you're sliding down a wall. So your hips stay over your heels. Okay? Let's bring your... Feet in a tiny bit. There you go. Her back is straight. Her hips are tucked. So everything's like engaged. This. Right. Everything's engaged. So she'll show you from there, and I'm going to show you straight on. So from here, we're just going to go tiny little moves. Press down and press and press. So you're really feeling this in your quads. And press. I'm not holding on to anything, so I can't stay on my toes very well. But again, always think of how your body position is. Ooh, That's I can engage my core more when I let go. Yeah, yeah. Um, for me, the best way to keep my balance is to keep my hands over my head. And then I make sure I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together. And then I'm kind of stretching this way when I do it. It's just an all around good thing. So four, three, two. We're going to hold it down on one. And we're going to squeeze our knees together. Press, and we are engaging our inner thighs, even though at this point your feet are still hip width apart. You're just pressing, you're just engaging. Yep, press, and press. <clears throat> the main thing for a workout like this is form, okay? So if you're hurting so bad doing something and you're falling forward, bring yourself up, hold on, do whatever you have to do, take a breath. Press for four, three, two, hold it on one. And we're going to go down halfway. And we're going to press it up an inch and down. Press up and down. And again, if you guys get really tired, put your heels down. It still is a workout. It's just not exactly the same. And press and down. So we're going to do this for about five more beats. Press and down. Perfect. And down. For two. And down. Hold it. One. Right here. Hold it. For five. Four. Three. Two. Now step out of it and shake it out. Over the next few weeks to months, we will be doing this more extensively, but I just want to show you some basic moves today. And Sherry's stretching over it. I have to stretch my quads, <laughs> otherwise they lock up. So. And that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. So after this, we're going to be doing this in first position. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what first position is, your heels are together. Your toes are out like a piece of pie. You're going to get up onto your toes. And you're going to bring your heels together so they're pressing. So every movement, when you get down into your plie here, you're pushing your heels together. And that automatically engages all the way up. Can you feel the engagement, Sherry? Okay. And she's doing what she needs to be doing already. Holding on to the bar for balance and pressing. Press, press. 
It's really hard to remember sometimes, but pressing with your heels and squeezing up. Even though we're not going all the way up. When we get a little bit more advanced, we may go down and we go all the way up, but not today. So we're gonna go down, 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 and press for three, two, hold it on one, press your legs back, press, press, perfect. You see how her knees are coming back? She's engaging her outer thigh and her glutes. Press, press, woo, press, and press. Again, bring your hips forward, engage your core, bring your shoulders back. If you want to take an arm off the couch or the bar, you can hold one up. If you want to take the other one up, you can do that too. For three, good job. And one. Now from here, we're just going to squeeze in and press. Don't forget to start the squeeze with your heel. Bring your knees slightly closer together. Or you can stop and stretch, that's okay too. It does get painful, but not because you're doing something bad, just because you're working stuff for long periods of time. We are engaging certain muscles. It's called <clears throat> isolating those muscles, okay? And with that, you know that you're getting a complete workout. That makes any sense. So three, woo, and one. Now we're gonna go down and up. A little bit deeper. Usually it's just a couple of inches. I can see my legs getting smaller. Yeah. <laughs> and shake. Shaking is good. Shaking means you are pushing yourself beyond what most people do. Okay? So press. And press. For five. These are the last ones we're going to do in this position. Two. And one. Come on up. Bring your heels down, shake it out. Are your toes cramping? Okay. All right. And then, once we get to the next song, which will be very soon, you're going to get into a wide second position. You may or may not need something to hold on to, probably. So I'll have you face them, and I'll come back. We can face them. You can face them. You want to get up here, you can. Or you can stay there. Okay. So. You are going to come down with your toes pointed out. You're just going to come down and up. You're just going to stretch and open up the hips and those inner thighs that we just worked out. Make sure, very good, you're tucking your hips down. You're tucking your hips under. Okay? We're just stretching down and up. Down and up. For four, this is just opening it up. After these moves, they're going to be slower. Three, and I know I'm off count. Two, hold it down on one. Now bring up your right heel and press and press. Sometimes at this point, you have to realign yourself because you want to make sure that you're not too wide. If you're too wide, your heel doesn't work. So you want your knee over your heel and your heel as far over your toe as possible. Okay? So now we're just doing slight little moves. Five, four, three, two, hold it on one. Bring that heel down and the other heel up. Yes. And going down and press, press. She's doing great back here. She's very engaged. And press, press. If you want to have your arms out, you can. I know you can't see me, that's okay. Or you can put a hand on the bar or the couch if you don't have that great of balance. So now bring both heels up off the ground. There you go. And press. And press. There you go. This is gangster. This is. And this is about where I normally feel like I'm falling forward because it's so hard to hold my weight. But that's okay. At that point, you're going to hold on to something. You're going to refocus and bring your shoulders back for three, two, hold it on one. Now pressing your knees out again, just like we did with the first position. And it's a small movement. Yes. Press and press. Press. I'm going to change size. This one. how small it is. Okay. Up on your toes. And press. This leg isn't going very much. Isn't yeah, that's, my that's the one. That's yeah. my 
Oh gosh, Sherry, still on this side. Okay. That's my infamous dent. So the dent side. And press. Now you're going to want to feel it engaging on the back of your bum and your outer thighs. And you might even get a cramp. That's okay. So three, two, hold it on. One, and down a little bit more. Sherry's shaking. That's good. Press. See how far you can go. Just like this. This is when it's really, really hard and shaky. Shaking is good. Shaking means you're making changes. Four, three, two, hold it on one. We're going to hold it for 10 count. And then I'll let her go. Five, four, three, two. You got it, Sherry. Oh. And it up. Yes. <sighs> Woo, you pushed through that one. It was awesome. I got to do your legs, man. Oh. Be strong. Okay, I'm going to shake it out here. Okay. We're going to stretch now our lower body. Or do we want to, yeah, we're going to stretch our lower body and then we're going to do our glutes. Yeah, stretch out my legs. Yeah. They're, okay. They're doing this. Yes. So, with this one, I think I'm going to have, I'm going to move my mat and I'm going to have Sherry, we're going to bring this mat this way. I'm going to just put my next to you. And again, ladies, all the classes are not going to be like this. This is mostly for instructional purposes. Okay. All right, so you're going to be standing. Okay, so we're going to start in the front of our mat. Okay. And you're going to need a little bit. Okay. All right. Okay. So you're going to step back with your right foot into kind of a runner's lunge. Whew. This one always gets me. Arms up and exhale deep into this lunge. You want to make sure both of your hips are facing forward. Engage your glute, engage, engage your quads, everything just to keep your balance. Now we're going to bring our hands down. This is what it becomes a runner's lunge. Just to the sides of both of your front foot, okay? Now you're going to take a breath in, lifting your left hand up towards the left of the room. If you can still continue to keep your hips down, that's great. Take a breath. When you exhale, bring that left hand to the inside of your left foot. Now open up to the right. Don't forget to engage your glutes. Keep yourself balanced. Bring that hand down. Bring your back knee down to the ground. Perfect. Okay. From there, you are going to straighten that front leg, leaning back over the right hip, on the right knee, and lean over, put your up in the air. Yep, right there. So you're gonna feel a stretch in the bottom of that left leg, okay? Now flex those left toes. If you can and you want to grab for an extra stretch, you can. Let me show where this is at. So we're not here. here. Right, you want your mm -hmm. hip over your knee, so even more. So that leg's gonna go forward. There you go. There you go. Okay, so after that stretch, you're gonna bring your foot. I know you can't see me, so I'm trying to get Sherry in. Bring that foot as far forward as you can. And get to as much of a split as you can. This is your work. This is your body. Treat it the way you want to. Don't try to get down farther than you than you really can. Okay? And you're gonna bring that heel back up. And you're going to kind of twist your right leg behind you, and you're just going to do a stretch here. Now you're stretching your inner thigh. There you go. You feel on your inner thigh? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then from here, put the weight on both of your hands in front of you, and bring your back foot behind you. So you are up on your toes, and you're going to roll up slowly with your head, the last thing that comes up. Roll your shoulders back. Okay, and then from here, we're going to step forward with our right foot. We're going to do the same thing over again. Hands up in the air. Take a big breath in and sink down into a stretch. Engaging your glutes, your quads. Everything here will help you to keep your balance. And then reach forward to a runner's lunge. Hands flat if you can. 
Bring your right hand up, twisting your body to the right, feeling a big stretch. Bring that hand down to the inside of your right foot. Again, get your balance. Bring your left hand up. Open that stretch out to the left. That was my dog barking. Exhale, bring that hand down. Bring your back knee down to the ground. Point those toes back there. And roll back so your <laughs> hips are over your knees or over your left knee. And you're gonna lean forward so you can feel a stretch mm -hmm. in the back of your right leg, okay? From there, flex the right toes, grab it for an extra stretch, or just keep your hand right back here. And then you're gonna slide your right heel forward as much as you can into a split. You may not be able to go very far, you might be able to go all the way down. It's okay, this is you. You're not competing with anybody else. Put the weight in your hands. Bring that heel back up here. We're gonna rotate out to the left. So for me, I like to sit on my left heel and then just kind of lean forward. And that gives a good stretch on the inner right thigh. And I'm on my knee, I'm not on my heel, and I'm still feeling the stretch, so. <laughs> So then, coming back up, putting the weight in your hand, swing that foot right out from behind you, get onto your toes, and just roll up one vertebrae at a time until your head is up, and that's the last thing that comes up. Okay, now we're gonna work our glutes. So do you wanna do glutes standing up on the bar, Sherry, or do you wanna do them on the mat? You choose. Okay. I think like mat work. Do you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you really like mat work. <laughs> is one of these mine or are they both your clips? Did you have three clips? I have a couple. That one's yours probably. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put you guys down just a little bit. So we're going to show some booty work on the ground. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so Sherry's going to use her right side now, 
and you're going to point your toe, engage your core, and we're going to lift. Lift, just a couple inches each time. So all you're doing is you're focusing on your butt, okay? So lift, lift, lift. And I'll also show you at some point, if it's too hard on your shoulders to lower back, you can come down to your elbows and you can continue to lift. There you go. Oh, a better stretch in here. Uh huh. Uh huh. There you go. So, four, three, two, hold it on one. Now we're just going to go straight up right here. And we're going to do tiny little circles up. There you go. So, when you do these tiny circles, it fatigues your muscles even more than just a simple lift. So, circle and circle. Circle and circle. So really, all you're doing is you're doing two lines and outer circle, okay? But both of your hips are facing the ground for three, two, hold it there, now circle the opposite way. Yes, there you go. And, and circle, yep, circle. So now she's going inside, just like this, but her toes are still facing the ground and her heel is still facing up. So four, three, Two, hold it there, flex your foot, and bend your knee. There you go. Your heel is going to be facing the ceiling, and you're just going to do tiny little lifts. So your hamstring and your glute are engaged. And this is where you're really going to work that glute hammy tie in. Lift and lift. 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 For five, four, three, two. Hold it up on one. Now bring your heel into your butt and up. No, sorry. Just butt and then return. Oh, okay. There you go. And squeeze. And squeeze. Oh, squeeze. squeeze. Yep. Squeeze. 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 There you go. For five, four, three, two, and one. Now straighten your legs and you're going to bring it up slightly to a 45 degree angle and you're going to rotate your leg out and we're just going to do little lifts. And at this point, yes, so Sherry had to change position. What I was going to say is when you go out, I don't know if you can see this, you're going to be out of balance, okay? So if you are have your leg out, you're going to have to lean towards the side a little bit, but just make sure that your hips are still facing the ground, okay? So she's doing little lifts as I'm talking. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and bring that down, and then come forward. I'm going to stretch that out. You're going to bring your right side over those heels, reach to the opposite. This is my favorite stretch. Once you feel that all the way here, I think she's going to go to sleep on me now. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> okay, now go ahead and put your hips over the other side of your ankles and bring your legs this way, I mean your hand. First stretch, just going the other way. And even though she was technically working her right glute, your standing glute also gets kind of yeah, right. fiery. Okay, now we're going to do that same thing, but with the other leg. So I'm going to have Sherry facing, up, up, yep, that's right. Do you want to be on this mat too? Is that too much? No. Or if your knees hurt at any point, you can fold your mat over and do that too. Okay, so again, we're going to put our bodies into position. Hip is over knee, and your core is engaged. Hips are both facing the floor. You're not going to open one side. There you go. Shoulder blades together. Engage that core. Now bring your left leg out. Point the toes. Make sure it's straight behind your butt. And just tiny little lifts. And again, you're just squeezing the glutes. If you ever want to see if you're working the muscle properly, use your opposite hand and reach over and you can feel it. And lift. Lift. Lift, lift, press, press, press. And if you get too tired again, come down on your elbows. You can even clasp your hands. Lift. Or three, two, hold it on one. Now we're going to do outside circles, just a couple little inches. There you go. And circle. Make sure that you are listening to your body 
and you're straight down here, you're engaged, and you can only feel your glute working, okay? For three, two, hold it on, one, now just reverse. Circle towards the inside. Yep, but you're gonna bring this right behind you, yep. Couldn't figure out which direction I was going. Okay. Which way? They're really on fire here, I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go for five, four, three, two, hold it on, one, flex that foot, bend your knees so your heel is facing the ceiling, readjust your body, make sure that your core is tight, and lift it up. These are tiny little movements. Your heel is just trying to reach the ground, I mean the ceiling, and you're feeling it right here. If you ever need to reset, like I said, you can come back and you can feel and make sure what you're trying to flex is actually flexing. Lift, lift, first four, three, two, hold it on, one. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring your heel into the butt and just squeeze and press. Now here you should be engaging your hamstring and your glutes, but this squeeze is mostly a hamstring squeeze. Mm -hmm. And press. If you find that you're swaying in your tummy, just bring your hips back down and press. For five, four, three, two, and one. Point your leg right back, rotate it out 45 degrees, now you're going to rotate your foot out, flex, exactly. You're just going to lift and lift, lift and lift. When you're doing this, if your leg is out in one direction, you're not going to be able to be directly right here. You might have to um, come down on the opposite elbow and reach out with that arm just for um, balance. There you go. For four, three, two, and one. Bring the knees under you. Come into child's pose. Bring your left hip over your heel, and then bring, walk your arms to the outside so you're stretching. And then you're gonna switch sides. Bring the right hip over the right heel. Walk your hands all the way out, and you're gonna feel the stretch all the way from here, all the way down. Another stretch I like to do for my glutes is to get my ankle over my knee and just come down. You have to bring the leg in more. It's a great stretch. And you make a switch. I like mine. Personally, this is my life. Oh, we'll be doing that at the end oh, too. Good. We'll have like a five minute my great uh, stretching session at the end. There you go. Okay. So from here we would do ab and plank work and then a stretch. And I know this is dragging on because I'm talking a lot. Yeah. But we're just gonna do it. Okay. okay. So we're gonna start in plank. Now when you do plank, you gotta make sure, like when you're doing a push-up, your wrists are under your shoulders. Push into the mat with your fingers, okay? You're going to engage your shoulder blades together. Engage your abs, bring them in, okay? Your legs, your glutes, everything is engaged, and that will make you stronger and less likely to injure usually your lower back. I think we should probably move the mat. Yeah. Sherry in the plank. Some people with this also, because of wrist problems, would want to fold their mat, and that actually feels better. So if you want to try that, you can. Fix my, my stuff. Now, okay. I'm bringing my butt up a little bit, just so it doesn't sag. Okay. I know you can't really see me. There. Okay, Sherry, that's perfect. So, yeah, you're not this. Right, right. Not like this, no, but you want a slight, if you start to feel a uh, pain in here at all, you're just gonna bring your butt up a little bit, just like that, okay? All right, so, 
This and one I'll probably I'll cut short. Tilted. What was that? My pelvis is tilted to the yeah. right, right? Yeah. Core is engaged, pelvis is tilted. Yeah. Okay. And if you can squeeze your shoulder blades together, yeah. flatten this. <laughs> Whew, there you go. Okay. okay. We're gonna, I am super weak in my shoulders, so I'm not even gonna do a whole song. Um, if you guys want to do that one longer, that's awesome. Okay, here I go. Okay, on your flick, feet are hip width apart, okay? Now just to start it, we're going forward and back. And forward and back. Everything is tight. So you're just rocking. Yes. Forward and back, push back. So you're rocking it on your toes. Can you see my toes? Not ready. But you can see the toes. Okay. So from here, I'm just going to show you a few things. Okay. I'm going to bring left knee, right knee. Left and right. Now they're going out to the side like this. Like and this. this one. <laughs> there. And now this is working your abs. Your back, your shoulders, it pretty much works everything. It's like side climbers, as you can see me. Okay, for three, two, and one. I'm just gonna come back here. If you have to stop, do a child's pose. Hopefully that's not too loud. Okay, I'm come back up, I'll show you a couple more moves. We're just gonna bring your knees straight under. These are like mountain climbers. And press. Again, you need to tighten everything to protect your body. That's perfect. That's great, Sherry. And press, press, and press. For three, two, and one. Okay, now we're gonna rest, and we won't do any more plank moves right now. What we'll do is, on our tummies, and I call it C curve, I have another video out there that just shows you the ab workout. So you can watch that sometime, or you could do this whole thing, whichever you want. Um, you wanna be a long ways on your mat. Actually, that's how you can see better anyway. Okay, so your feet, hip width apart. Heels are on the ground. Grab behind your thighs. Elbows are out, so I'll show you this way, okay? Elbows are out, and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna blow out and round your back. Yes, so you're rounding in here, sucking in your belly, and that's why you call it a seat curve, because it goes this way, okay? And we're just gonna breathe. Every time you do that, you're gonna engage. So, and I'm gonna go to the next song. It's a little faster. Okay, and press. Elbows are out, and press. For five, four, three, two, hold it here. And we're just gonna rock back and up, back and up. I have a problem with my tailbone. Or you want to um, fold it more in your Maybe on the other side of my tailbone? Like, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. So that's part of your C curve is you're not on the butt, on the sit bones or the tailbone. You're going to curve it. So your lower back is curved. If you have a bad back and you have some kind of a small ball, what you can do is you can place it right here. It kind of helps you cheat and it takes the pressure off. You want to try it? Okay. I do. I got it on the top of my tailbone now. It's good. So right now, Sherry and I are holding up uh, the back of our legs a little. We don't, we're not squeezing. It's just for balance. You can also let go. So lift, come back. Lift and back. Lift, relax. Lift, relax. Beautiful. And lift, relax. For three, two, and one. Come right back to your C curve. Readjust. Okay. Bring your right hand over your left knee and reach. Come back. Reach. I'm going to use this. It just feels better for me. And reach. And reach. Reach. Sure, you have really strong abs. Catch up here. Oh, so abs. Killer. Reach. 
for three, excuse me, two, and one, come back to the middle, bring your, you're doing your right arm, I'm doing my left, over the opposite knee, and reach, come back, reach, back, reach, reach, if you are advanced with your ab workout, you can bring one leg out, I can bring the leg that you're reaching over. Okay, but for me, I'm just going to keep holding it. Because like I told you before, I'm not the strongest person. I know the moves, but I'm not that strong. But one day it will be. You just have to be consistent with it. For four, three, two, and one. Coming on back down. What you're going to do now is you're just going to slowly roll back to your back. And I'm just going to cut this one short, too, because this is our beginner's workout. But I've got all kinds of fun stuff for you guys for another time. So now what we're going to do is a little more booty work. I'm not sure which way to show you. That's okay. So we're going to bring our heel to um, our butts, and we're going to be on our toes. Okay, we're going to lift up a little bit, just a few inches off the ground with your butt and your back. And I'm going to change the music again. So anyway, we'll just do this song again. And we're squeezing our glutes, squeeze, squeeze. But right now we're going to start really low, Sherry. So your upper back is still on the ground and you're just lifting your lower back. Do you feel that more in your abs? Can you do that? Okay, so also I like to feel where my hip bones go. You just put your fingertips there, and every time you lift, you can feel those muscles engage. Good. Squeeze. So you're squeezing with your abs and your booty, and your um, quads are also getting a workout. Lift, lift. So we're going to take it a little bit higher. So now our shoulders are on the ground, squeezing the glutes. Your hips are being tucked under. So really what we're doing is we're just tucking, lift, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. In a second, we're going to squeeze, squeeze one side at a time in four, three, two, squeeze right and right, just the right, and left, squeeze. Again, if you want to feel your abs move, you can, not move, but engage, squeeze for four, three, two, and one. Now you lift, your left. Squeeze. Give them a little individual attention. And press. You're pressing with your left glute here. Your knees are facing forward. Okay, they're not apart at this point. But they will be. So just your left one for three, two, and one. Back up to the top. You're going to go as high as you can. Grab your ankles with your wrists if you can. And lift, 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 lift. If you can't do this, just get as far as you can down here. And lift, lift, lift. Is your butt on fire? Lift. Not really. I, I, do, I mean, I can feel it in my, my boots trying to make my end. Uh huh. I feel like I'm just, like, oh, this is the one. Yeah. And that feels that smile. Okay, now, while you're up here, bring your toes out as wide as your mat. Open up your knees a little bit. And then you can come up further. And lift. Rock it out. Mm. And now we're going to stretch. If someone comes through the door, I apologize. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's real life. Yes. Okay. So, you guys, I'll be right back with a little band for sure to stretch with. Oh. There we go. Okay. So, you're going to hold this with both hands. And she's going to put the band right across the middle of her right foot, okay? 
Your left foot is on the ground. Can you go the other way? Thank you. <laughs> this makes sense. Okay. Now bend your knee in. Squeeze and take a breath. Bring it straight up. From here, you're going to rotate your leg out so your toes are out and your heel is facing in. And you're just going to come over slightly past midline. Straighten that leg. Take a breath. And then you're going to let it go all the way over. Oh, nice hip release. There you go. You want to go to oh, the floor? Yep, if you can. Shoulders on the floor? Yeah. You're going to hold here. And that shoulder is the other way, just like you are. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to bend your knee in, come back to the middle, all this is to keep from straining, straighten your leg again, and now we're going to bring it out this way, and if you can only go a little bit, that's okay, but you've got this band, if you have a band at home, it's really helpful, and give yourself a little tug for an extra stretch, now bend that knee into your chest, and come back midline, Straighten your leg one more time. Try to walk your hands up the mat by the, the band. Bring your face up and give one big stretch. Now slowly release. You're going to bring your right leg to the ground and you're going to put the band over your left foot. So here you go. Bring it up. Take a big breath. There you go, right leg is flat on the mat. You're going to bend your knee into your chest. Give a good stretch. And from here, try to keep your knee where it is as much as possible and straighten this leg up. And if you can't straighten it, that's okay. Okay, now come all the way up so it's not bent anymore. And you're going to rotate your leg out so your toes are out, your heel is in. And you're going to bring it slightly over midline. And you're going to give it a little tug. And this is where you get the IT band. Okay. So right here, do you feel that more in your IT? Okay, now go ahead and relax that leg all the way over. Bringing your left thigh that way, that's perfect. And always keep the stretch with that. That, um, oh, yes. Nice in the hip. Yes. I'm feeling it all right here. Now bend your knee in, keeping in this position. You'll feel it in your butt, in your hip. Now roll onto your back. Straighten that leg one more time. And then you're going to bring that leg all the way out. And you can even stretch this arm out oh, here. Oh, there with that leg. Yep. Yes. Now, I wonder if this move, that was like jammed hip stuff, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it could be. Yeah, she just popped. So my hip popped. Um, she's getting it back. Mm -hmm. Now bend your knee where you are here. And bring this into your body. Continue to tug with the strap. And then she'll feel it more on the inner thigh here. Now rotate here, straighten the leg up, walk your hands up the strap, bring your nose to your knee as much as you can, point your toe for a little extra stretch, and slowly up, let that one go, bringing your leg back to the ground. Ah, oh, we have more stretches at another time, but that's going to be it for today. So. I want you now to lay here, take a couple of deep breaths, thank yourself and thank your body for what you just did and what it did for you, and you guys have a great day. Yay. Thank you.